This is amazing. Now we have Flux One. Using this, you are able to generate beautiful images like this just using text prompt. And it is available for free for you to use locally on your computer. You can see Flux One Pro is much better than Stable Diffusion, DALI, and even Mid Journey version 6.0 in regards to ELO score. It is released in three different versions. One is Chanel, Dev, and Pro. Flux One Pro is much better than Mid Journey version 6, DALI 3, SD3 medium. In prompt following, visual quality, output diversity, typography, and size, and size aspect variability. You are able to generate images with different megapixel, and you can see the quality is really good. By the end of this video, you will learn how you can run this locally on your computer, enter a prompt, and able to create an image like this. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Flux One. In this, I'm going to take you through step by step how you can set up a radio interface like this, show you some example prompts, and we are going to see if it is capable of creating high quality images like this, and also whether is it possible to create the text exactly as it's provided in the prompt. Because we see whenever we provide some text, DALI 3, Mid Journey, or other models, it's not accurate enough to generate the exact text. So in this, we are going to see that. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First step, git clone this path. After this, click enter. Next, navigate to the Flux Web UI folder. Inside that, we are going to install pip install torch, torch vision and torch audio and then click enter. Next, pip install hyphen or requirements.txt and then click enter. These are the main required packages. After this, Python app.py and then click enter. Now you can see the user interface got loaded in this URL. So I'm going to open this URL and here is the URL which I have just opened it. Now you can enter your prompt. In Black Forest Labs, we can see all the example flux images created here. So you can see the quality. So the first thing which we are going to try is this. A photo of a beautiful street with a tram passing by and people walking about and riding bikes. So just copying the prompt and then pasting it here. Just a note that I'm running this locally on my computer. It is running Mac M2. You will also be able to install this on Windows or Linux using this command. I'll put all the information and the repo in the description below. At the back end, it will automatically download the required model. For the first time, it will take some time to load. After that, it will be much more quicker. Now you can see it's automatically generating the image. When I see the graphic card usage, you can see the GPU is speaking in my computer. Even the CPU usage is speaking. And finally, here is the image. It took approximately five minutes for me to generate this image. And when I open it, you can see the beautiful image with high clarity. Next, I want to generate this image with text. Let's make some really pretty stuff together. So here's the prompt to create this picture. I'm just copying this, pasting it here and clicking run. And here is the output, just zooming in. And this is beautiful. You can see, let's make some really pretty stuff together. I've tested many other image generation models and most of the models will miss creating text like this. And this is more accurate compared to other models. Again, when you see an image like this, the quality, you are able to provide prompts such as 50 millimeter and the focus natural light portrait. And all these images are really stunning. And considering it is released under Apache 2 license, which means you are able to use for personal, scientific and commercial purpose. And just a quick thing about the architecture, it uses hybrid architecture of multimodal and parallel diffusion transformers. It is 12 billion parameter model. It uses flow matching to improve from its previous model. It uses rotatory positional embeddings and parallel attention layers to increase its performance and hardware efficiency. That's a quick overview. Now you are able to run this locally on your computer and create images. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.